cost me no little effort to gain admittance to this show, but here I am, and will remain until I've had good entertainment, and hopefully some food. Oh, the show is starting. Hey, there. Do you have news for me? Oh, such news as will amaze your ears and confound your understanding. So strange. Mm, Rosara, encouraged by your good opinion of her, has seen fit to cast off her disguise and put on women's clothes again. I'm glad to hear it. It was a risky impersonation. Moreover, she has taken your letters, tested them to the assistants, and gotten assigned to Australia. She ascends the letter quickly. Oh, impressive, right? <laughs> oh, no more for our Rosara, or Lydia, as I must call her now, although she now trusts the company with her true sex. Yeah, she conceals her true name. Oh, now she's pleased, you're pleased, Estrella is very pleased with her. She's had the most prominent three-day ascension in the history of Polonia and is very much talked about. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am quite forgotten. I have not changed my name. I'm still called Clarion and could peel forth with all sorts of juicy secrets. <laughs> mm, yet, no one seems to think my information worth one good meal. But perhaps I have been trading with the wrong sort of people. I think you may be right about that. I may have good employment for your talents if you would care to assist me. Oh, my son! It would be my utmost pleasure! Then stand close and be oh. silent. The blood air of Lodi is about to awake and wonder where he is. Where am I? What is this place? What am I wearing? Is your attire not your liking, you say? It likes me very well, but does not feel like my own. Am I awake? I think that I'm awake, but this world feels much larger than I'm accustomed to. It, it moves with me and not around me. It's very slow to change. Did you sleep well, sir? Oh, oh, the sweetest sleep that I can remember. I awoke in such a bed. Where am I? Why do you call me sir and follow me about and ask about what I'm wearing and how well I slept? Uh, we are here to assist you. Anything that aids you or offers you comfort is our charge to bring you. You may have to offer him a touch more in the form of explanation. I remember telling you to watch in silence. Not another word. Do you mock me? Uh, are you more than shadows? You, you seem to have corporeal form, and yet you do not cover your faces. Why do you follow me? Why do you give me comfort? What have I done to deserve this? Say, Mundo, stand not amazed. Allow me to greet you and pledge to you my loyalty and service. These men attending do not mock. Rather, they show you the respect and honor that is your due. We are your assistants, as Commander Clotaldo says. Clotaldo. You're not here to show me pictures? No, sir. Time for picture shows has passed. You, you also call me sir. You know that shock me when I try and touch things I see. What is happening to me, Clotaldo? Be patient, sir. Let me put your mind at ease. Your father is the head of Polonia, and you his true blood heir. You've been protected these many years because your prophesied destiny was bloody and spelled ruin for the company and all her people. But now you've been released because we trust that you are stronger than destiny and can become a wise and prudent ruler despite the stars. I am the blood heir to Polonia. Yes, sir. And happy I am that you are finally a party to this knowledge and can prove worthy of the great trust placed in you. You are an executive of the purest bloodlines. It's a great honor to be assigned to you, sir. All this will take some time to process, Segismundo. Be assured, I am here to help you, as are your assistants, your father, and the other executives who are eager to meet their blood heir at last. I am their blood heir. 
Sir, you are the blood heir. I am the blood heir. <laughs> you see, Clitaldo, you've turned me into an echo. You shall be many new and strange things before this day is past. Have you known who I was all these years? Have you laughed to yourself to keep your Polonius heir in such a state of degradation? I work to keep you safe these many years, both you and the company I serve. To keep me safe? There's that echo again. You have worked to keep me out of sight and out of my rightful place. I followed orders. Do you recall, Clitaldo, what very lately I said I would do if I ever escaped your chains? We say many things and we are angry. I said you would learn how well I studied your picture shows of war. I know many things, including how to handle traitors. You taught me well. But you deceived me well. And now that I know I am your better and have been all these years, I will treat you as a treacherous fool you are and kill you with my own two hands. Sir, call yourself. <laughs> Don't you dare interfere. You are here to serve me. Now come between my just rage and its true object. By the deity! If anyone tries to stop me, I will hurl them out the window. Let me at him. Have patience, sir. I'll leave, since I've angered you. Hope to find you master of yourself when next we meet. Or when you awake, for you may very well be dreaming. You bid me be patient and be calm? Who do you think you are to speak to me like that? I only urge you to think before you act. Clotaldo had orders from your father on his head. He had no choice but to obey. Run after him since you defend him still. I won't have the friends of traitors in my sight. As you wish, sir. I will not stay to offend you. <laughs> if you treat all your followers thus, you'll have none left. But then the same can be said of locking all the blood airs up in funny rooms. Who told you to speak? Oh, I didn't think I needed permission. Who are you? <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, no, 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 no. no. I know, buddy. <laughs> I'm deaf and blind and dumb and also not too smart. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> In the moment, I'll be gone entirely. No, you, you can stay. You're nice, and your attempts at humor are diverting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the undisputed champion of being nice to Segismundos. Stay close. You can take the part of the fool that's run away. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 